Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready to plant my garlic here in my Ohio garden before our weather turns really cold and nasty. So I thought I'd take the chance to share with you all some of my best tips and tricks for successfully growing garlic. I've got some really beautiful big bulbs from Trillium Hollow Farm. This was a lot of fun. It was my first year ordering from them and they actually do a half pound sampler where you can try out different varieties. So I'm getting to test some new to me varieties this year. And then I've got some of my old favorites from Gurney Seed and Nursery. But without further ado, let me share some of my tips for growing garlic. Tip number one is plant in the fall. Here in Ohio and any other areas where the ground freezes in the winter, it's best to plant in the fall, typically four to six weeks before that ground freezes hard. If you're growing in the south, it's generally advised that you plant in very late winter to very early spring. Now, I did a test succession planting last fall, planting garlic early November, mid-November, late November, and early December with no noticeable difference in bulb size, yield, or maturity date. Now, I also tested a spring planting where I vernalized my garlic in the refrigerator. So that's just a process of mimicking the natural cold dormancy period that the garlic would go through. And if you're doing that, it can last anywhere between three weeks and three months. And then I planted that garlic as soon as I could get into the ground in the spring, which was early March. The harvest on that batch of garlic was noticeably smaller and later to mature. So planting in the fall definitely gives you a jump on the harvest harvest and it generally results in much larger garlic bulbs. Tip number two is feed your garlic. I have noticeably better results when I add a heaping helping of good compost or aged animal manure. Here I'm using aged cow manure to my beds prior to planting my garlic. I also add some all natural fertilizer specifically for root crops. This is Gardens Alive's Root Crops Alive fertilizer. And I like adding this because it's slightly richer in phosphorus, which helps stimulate healthy root growth. In the spring, I'll switch to fertilizing with a nitrogen rich fertilizer, feeding my garlic first thing in the spring when the top growth starts. And then if I remember, I'll feed again about mid spring and then switch back to that phosphorus rich fertilizer, giving them a final feeding in May when those bulbs just begin to swell. Tip number three is know your type. Now there are hard neck and soft neck types of garlic. And within those types, there are hundreds of different varieties, many of which will perform differently in different growing areas. Folks in more Northern areas are often advised to grow hard neck varieties of garlic as they tend to perform better in areas with cold winters and are hardier plants. Here in Ohio, my experience has been that in general, hard necks are more reliable for me, but I have had good results with the right soft neck varieties, in particular a variety called silver white soft neck. Some of my best performing hard necks include German white, also known as German extra hardy, Northern white, music, Leningrad, chestnut red and Romanian red. But I like to test out new varieties every year. And since I'll probably get this question, I don't recommend growing grocery store garlic. I know folks have had success doing this. I've heard from some of you, but sometimes garlic at the grocery is treated with sprout inhibitors. And the bigger reason I don't recommend it is because some 99% of the garlic sold in the grocery store is the variety California white, which performs beautifully in areas of California not so much in many other growing areas, mine included. Tip number four, plant the biggest. If you are replanting your own garlic, save and select the biggest bulbs with the biggest cloves for replanting. By selecting the largest bulbs, you're ensuring that the plants which grow from those cloves will be robust, vigorous, and healthy. And if you continually select for the largest bulbs year after year from the same variety, you could end up with a strain of garlic that is perfectly suited for your specific growing conditions and will reliably result in big, nice bulbs of garlic. Tip number five, be picky with your planting area. I highly recommend raising up your planting areas and choosing areas with well-draining soil, especially if you are prone to wet winters and springs as I am here. One thing that can ruin a garlic harvest is having your plants sit in soggy, damp, cold soil in the spring for an extended period of time. And one of the easiest ways to avoid this is just to elevate your planting rows a bit. 
Now this next tip isn't one that I can recommend from personal experience, and it is soaking your garlic prior to planting. I know that some folks recommend soaking garlic cloves in all kinds of concoctions, from fish emulsion to seaweed to hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, or rubbing alcohol. It seems the logic behind this is to sterilize them and protect them from various diseases and insect pests, as well as give them kind of a super powered boost into growth with the fertilizer. I have never done this. I typically separate the cloves immediately before planting and just plunk them straight into the earth. And as long as the weather cooperates, I have a beautiful garlic harvest each year. I did find a straightforward guide to soaking on Keen Organics site, and since they grow garlic for a living, I'm testing out their technique. I'll provide a link to their site in the video description below, but this is the process in a nutshell. First, I'm gonna separate each clove from the bulb Next, I soak those cloves in a sterilizer for 10 minutes. I'm using hydrogen peroxide. When that 10 minutes is up, I strain the sterilizer, and then I put the cloves into a container with a fertilizer like fish emulsion, kelp meal, or a fertilizer blend, just using the application rates according to the package. Then add one teaspoon of baking soda per gallon of water. Now, since I'm doing such a tiny amount here, I'm using a very tiny bit of fertilizer as well as a pinch of baking soda. I'm gonna soak these cloves in the fertilizer mixture for a minimum of 30 minutes up to overnight and then plant the garlic as normal. So I'm gonna plant these out today. I'm also planting a control batch where I didn't soak them. These are gonna be the same variety and hopefully I'll have some results to report come harvest time next summer. I'd also love to hear from any of you who soak your garlic prior to planting. And finally, tip number six, mulch your garlic after planting. Garlic has a better survival rate when mulch is applied. That is because mulch insulates and it helps prevent any potential heaving of the garlic, which can happen when you have freeze-thaw cycles during the winter and early spring. This is perhaps even more important in areas like my Midwestern part of Ohio, where our winters can jump from very cold to above freezing, back and forth all winter, and we don't have reliable snow cover for much of the winter. So I plant my cloves approximately three inches deep and cover them with three to six inches of natural mulch. My go-tos are chopped leaves or straw. And that's it, my top tips for planting so that you can enjoy a successful, bountiful crop of garlic come next summer. I'm gonna get planting because I have a lot of garlic left to get in the ground yet today, but let me hear from you. Drop a line in the comments below and let me know your top tips for a successful crop of garlic. And if you found today's video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, Growfully with Jenna. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.